This segment sponsored by Carlson Financial. You're watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. If you're considering opening a savings account for your minor child to help save for college, you may want to consider opening a custodial account. We have our financial expert, Carl Carlson, CEO and founder of Carlson Financial here today to explain this in more detail. So this is something I'm really interested in, Carl, because I have younger kiddos, but that goes by fast and they're going to be ready for college. So <laughs> yes. what do I need to be doing now? Okay, so a custodial account is where you become the custodian or you're the one that's watching out over someone else's money or investments. Okay. So and that other person in this case is your child because uh, they can't man they can't have their own brokerage account or sure. investments until they become the age of majority, which in Kansas is eighteen. Some okay. states is twenty one, in Kansas it's eighteen. So you open up this custodial account and there's two different types. Okay. So the first one is a U Uniform, UGMA. Which is Uniform Gift to Minors Act, Act. which I've never heard yeah. of. So explain it to us. And so in the biz, we call that an UGMA. The biz, I love it. <laughs> That's, it's your biz, it's not mine. That's why I listen to you. So an UGMA, yes. uh, which doesn't sound great, but it <laughs> no. is, right? So what, what do we do with that? So what you're doing is, uh, so for instance, in 2023, yeah. you can gift to your child up to $17,000 worth of something. So you can gift that money into an UGMA or something less than that. Is it taxed? Nope, no taxes, so that's nice. Thank you IRS and yes. Congress for doing something, there right? There you go, that's a little helpful. So the money goes in there and then now you can't, what I like about that mm -hmm. is that you can now do your own investing. So you got you got this money, it really has to grow to try to cover even a part of college yeah. expenses as much as college is and as fast as it's growing the cost of it. I know. So uh, I would so now you can buy Amazon stock in there, or Microsoft or okay. Google or things that are going to grow a lot. Uh, whereas in a 529, you can't do that. You're limited to some of the funds okay. that they have. There's expenses in there. So those are some of the things I don't like about the 529. The UGMA is going to be taxed generally at the tax rate of your child, which is going to usually going to be much lower than our tax rates. <laughs> right. So that's a good thing. Now you have to be careful because the IRS has little things. If it's too much, there's a kitty tax and all this. So you need there's a financial a advisor rules. to help figure it out. So that's one is the UGMA. Okay. The other one is UGMA. So what's the difference? <laughs> you I mean, got it. A Uniform Transfers to Minors Act. So what's yeah. UPMA? I mean, one, one was created in the 50s yeah. and then one was in the 90s. So yeah. what is this, the an gift, updated version? Yeah, so the gifting one was uh, for stocks and investments, yes. but then people eventually, like, ah, I want to gift them some real estate or oh, something okay. besides stocks. And so that was the Uniform Trust for Minors Act is it allowed a few more things to be put into that custodial like account. physical type things that yeah. I'm assuming is it for them to use or is it for them to then be able to sell to be able um, to sell okay yeah to then mm -hmm. turn it into li liquidity yeah essentially. to pay for college yep. okay <clears throat> so any tax benefits in opening these accounts rather than you know a high yield savings account yeah, that's a, a little bit of the downside is you don't get much <laughs> in the way of tax benefits. So uh, the 529, you get a little bit of tax benefits, uh, but not so much. So you have to weigh the difference. Right. You've got to yeah. see what works best for you. Yeah. Talk to your financial planner. Yep. All right. Carl Carlson, Carlson Financial. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Jared. Right now, let's head over and take a final look at the forecast.